working in research project management at the research services of the University of Vienna. I specifically work for a postdoctoral fellowship program, which is called INDICAR, Interdisciplinary Cancer Research, and is co-funded by the European Union Framework Program 7 Marie Curie Actions. So, in my business card is written my name, Engineer Immaculada Sanchez Romero, PhD, and my position in the car Assistant Project Manager. This is to support the IndyCar program and its fellows by uh, looking for funding opportunities and writing and submitting proposals, uh, organizing outreach activities to disseminate the program and our fellows' research, and for example, organizing workshops to consolidate our fellows' skills. There are two things that I really like about my job. One of them is to, to organize workshops and scientific events. That's uh, something that I really enjoy. And the second one is, uh, well, I like to think that I can have a positive impact in our fellows' career by uh, looking for funding opportunities for them or contributing to their career development by organizing workshops or outreach activities. I see myself uh, working in research project management and uh, in an academic environment, uh, uh, managing a research program and supporting its fellows. I studied chemical engineering at the University of Granada in Spain, where I also did a master's in biotechnology. Then I obtained my PhD in chemistry, working in protein engineering at the University of Granada, and also in collaboration with Columbia University, New York, where I performed three short term stays, and the Danish biotech company, Low Science. Then later I did my postdoc here at IST, working in synthetic biology at the Janoviar lab. Well, besides all the support in terms of uh, scientific research, at IST I had the opportunity of uh, collaborating and planning and organizing scientific events. And uh, as a result, I consolidated my organizational and management skills um, that made me realize that I wanted to focus my career in that direction. Well, the first one will be to work on their career development, to obtain a competent set of transferable skills, not only uh, participating in workshops, but uh, also getting experience by um, volunteering and, for example, organizing uh, scientific events. Here at IST Austria, they have a lot of opportunities for that. The second one is uh, to network to attend conferences and workshops, to connect with people, and create a solid uh, network of contacts. Um, the third one, well, for people who is considering leaving academia, I would like them to know that they shouldn't be afraid of their no, that uh, leaving academia doesn't mean that they have failed, it just means that they have uh, other interests, um, well, I, uh, I think that it takes a lot of courage to, to follow your dreams, to leave your comfort zone and, and to be willing to explore other possibilities. One of my favorite moments here at IST Austria was during the fifth Young Scientist uh, Symposium. I was part of the organizing committee um, after all the work and all the effort organizing it. It was, it was amazing to see that it was something real, it was happening, uh, everything was working perfectly and, a speaker and uh, speakers and attendees were, were really uh, satisfied with the event. So it was a very rewarding moment and an amazing experience.